Yo, what's up guys? I'm Grandmaster Shaman and welcome back to Flower Paradise and today we have another Shaman vlog for you. It's been just a few weeks coming back into uh, doing YouTube and stuff again and thank you all for uh, those of you who are liking the videos. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's been a little bit of an interesting ride as I've tried and come back and, and get into it. Um, as you know, I've been doing some Sakura Night 3 uh, episodes that just finished airing today. Uh, I've been doing some robotics notes. I've been doing uh, the Pokemon Sword Randomizer Nuzlocke, uh, which was... Um, I, I had recorded it while the internet wasn't working, so I did get a little bit frustrated through some of those episodes. Uh, I did some VTuber Vigilante episodes, um, and a little dab dabble here and there. So, overall, uh, it's pretty clear that, uh, you know, we're getting 10 or less views a video outside of Korone's video that kind of popped off a little bit. Um, thank you so much for that, and those of you who, who subscribed off of that, I really do appreciate it, especially since I have to apologize for not putting out a VTuber Vigilante series last week, and I don't know whether or not I'm going to be able to do it this week as well. So one of the biggest issues with that series is that it is highly intensive in terms of editing. I mean, it really doesn't take too, too long to edit because you, you do just have to, like, cut pieces out. I'm not, like, doing some crazy over-the-top edit. But at the same time, you do have to sit there for, you know, a while uh, and then cut out the bits that you don't really like or that aren't really that important and then put together the video. And it, it can be a little bit time consuming, especially when you have, you know, what I'm about to talk about here. So we've been doing pretty well streaming almost every day on Twitch. Uh, I have had a few times, uh, for instance, uh, on Saturday, yesterday, I wasn't able to stream because of work schedule and stuff. And over the next four weeks, it's going to be just as difficult. I apologize in advance if some days I don't get videos out or I don't stream on Twitch. Um, the next four weeks are going to be extremely, extremely difficult. Uh, so just to jump right into it on what exactly is going on uh, with this whole COVID thing that has, you know, blasted off into the stratosphere. Uh, my work is no longer allowing us to overlap shifts, which basically means my shifts now are really detrimental to my, you know, work on YouTube and stuff. It's not really work because I don't get paid or anything, but I'm trying my best to try and put something out that people will enjoy watching on, on YouTube and that I enjoy recording as well. Uh, if I don't enjoy it, then there's no reason for me to put it out there in the first place. I mean, look at the Robotics Notes series, for example. Very, very few people actually watch that series on a consistent basis. If you're one of them, I appreciate it. But... There are still episodes that came out nine days ago that have zero views on it, you know, uh, that still don't, haven't been even looked at. Um, if I didn't re enjoy recording that series and no one's watching it, then I wouldn't even continue it. But because Robotics Notes uh, is, along with Steins Gate and Chaos Child, one of the very big series of, of the semicolon series that I've been into, um, I, I can't just drop the series. I really can't. Um, there are... There very well might be a chance that later on this week I don't put an episode on one day, um, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But overall, I, I want to try and put out content that I enjoy making as much as people may enjoy uh, watching it, and so hopefully you guys are having a good time. If you guys want to hit the like button, that that would be absolutely amazing. I want to try and get out to as many people as possible, and hitting the like button does help. Uh, as well as commenting in the comment section. Let me know what you guys want to see on the channel. Uh, I, I'm sorry that I'm not really a league player or anything, but um, there are a lot of things that we're going to have to get to in a second on what I have planned for the channel. So basically because of the whole COVID thing, uh, my schedule, for instance, the next three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I will have to work a noon to 8 p.m. shift which means I either have to wake up early in the morning or stay up late. And I, I, staying up late is kind of an issue because I've been working all day and so then I don't have the energy to really put on anything. And in the morning I wake up and, I, you know, it takes me a while because, you know, I'm sluggish and I, I just got out of bed and whatnot. So it, it can be a bit frustrating 
to to try and especially shiny hunt for a Pokemon that has to have over 3,000 encounters uh, to to be shiny uh, with only one in 1,300 odds. But regardless, I want you guys to know that uh, the next four weeks I'm going to do everything I can to put out content, but there is a very good chance that there are going to be days that I just can't put out anything. Um, and kind of things that I have in store. So, uh, sorry that this intro is so long. I'm going to kind of try and keep it somewhat brief. But Madden NFL 21 is on my desktop right now. And I know that there has been kind of a mixed reaction from Madden 20. Some There, there were some people that really enjoyed my Madden 20 zero overall franchise rebuild and my impossible quarterback challenge. But nothing was as big as the playoff game simulations. And I know some people clicked on it because they thought it was the real game. And other people clicked on it just to see the final score or something. But overall, whatever it was, those games did really, really, really well. Um, but I don't I don't want to do that just to get you know someone to click on the video, skip to the end, see the score, and then click off of it or say, ha ha, I knew that this person was going to win or something, you know, because you get those people. I want I want people who, who want to watch and enjoy the entire lengthy uh, game, but over the next four weeks, it's impossible for me to do that. I do not have time to sit there and record an entire game, game's worth of commentary. I just can't do it. I plan on doing this year's playoffs uh, like I did last year. I, I really think that that's something that I I really enjoyed. I think a lot of people would really enjoy that still. Um, the playoffs are, are super fun time, and I'll be done with school by then, so it's the perfect time to do it. But I think I'm going to be doing some sort of Madden 21 challenge mode or something uh, sometime in the near future it's just going to be hard because the episodes are going to have to come out relatively sporadically i can't really do them every other day or uh every day um or anything like that it's going to have to come you know sporadically at least for the next four weeks until the end of school uh just before american thanksgiving um so that is something there. But another problem is that Assassin's Creed Valhalla comes out on the 10th. Um, unfortunately, I will be working uh, from 6 a.m. to uh, noon on the 10th. But I should be able to come back and stream some Assassin's Creed Valhalla once I get home that day for at least, you know, half a dozen to a dozen hours, somewhere in that range. I don't think a dozen, but because I have to work at 6 a.m. the following day. Regardless, I want to play some Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I think that would be really fun. I've been looking forward to the game. The uh, the Viking invasion of England is, is really, really interesting, and I would love to, to see what the, the game's going to be all about. Um, so hopefully you guys are... Um, uh, are uh, following the Twitch channel. I mean, you guys can sub. That would be amazing. But those are the two things that I've I've kind of added. Once Assassin's Creed Valhalla comes out on the 10th, I don't think there's another game that comes out from the 10th onward that I'm really interested in, at least that I've heard about. Um, so more than likely, that's going to be kind of the, the cap on, on that. So... I still plan on shiny hunting a few days a week, but it's going to be very difficult to do it um, on a, a super consistent basis um, be, over the next four weeks because I have to work four days out of the week, by the way. I, I work tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Then Thursday and Friday I have class, so I only have part of the time. And then one of those days, I believe Friday this week, I'm going to have to do my student teaching, which means that... My days are really, really limited in what I can do. You know, I, I only have so many options uh, as to what I can do um, during the week. And that's not only going to go for this week. I have the exact same schedule the following week. Um, though on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I work 6 a.m. to noon. So I at least have some time in the afternoon that I can stream or record some videos. Um the thing is, I have to kind of decide what my priorities are, whether I want to do YouTube number one or if I want to do Twitch number one, and I feel like Twitch number one is kind of 
feeling a little bit better just because I know I can't edit videos very well. I know my videos have very lackluster or minimal or no editing, such as this video. Um, but I do like the fact that I can sit here and record a 20-minute episode of uh, or 20 to 30 minute episode of robotics notes and then just go do something else and not have to sit here for two to three hours without feeling bad about not being able to stream that much. So uh, it's, it's very difficult. I want to do some challenge modes with NFL. I want to do some Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I want to do some, uh, I want to do some Among Us, to be honest. Uh, that game's very interesting, but I don't really have that, um, the discord server and stuff that i can really do to make it super interesting um i'm not gonna lie i i i like ck3 and eu4 and those games uh, i kind of want to do more of that uh so it's very difficult because there's just so much that i want to do and i'm not entirely sure what 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 people want to see like what 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 exactly people want to uh see on the channel i'm sorry it's not going to be league but If you guys have any of those suggestions, I would like to know. I think um, out of the options that I've given you or visual novels that you guys might might think it would be entertaining, especially with Sakura Night 3 ending, uh, I no longer have any episodes of that. I, I just put all of the endings into one episode. Um, I, I just want to know what you guys think. I, I want to know what you guys want to see on the channel, what you guys uh, think about um the series that I've made to this point and I want I, I, I'm gonna ask this for the next four weeks to please be patient I, I unfortunate pardon unfortunately with the way that things have worked out it's gonna be very difficult for me to to upload on a daily basis uh, I, I, there's gonna be definitely times that I'm not gonna have the episodes available because I simply do not have the time. And, uh, and part of the problem is that I, I already, you know, I work and I go to class and I have to do those assignments. And then on top of that, I'm trying to upload twice a day for the last um, several, since the 23rd, the 23rd, so eight days ago, was the last time I only uploaded one video in a day, um, which was Robotics Notes. And that's because I did not have the Pokemon Sword Randomizer Nuzlocke episode edited yet. So I just, I'm trying. I, I apologize that it's it's such a long and difficult process, but um, I want to try to, to get some stuff out between now and, and four weeks from now when school ends. Now, once school ends things are going to get interesting because I should have all the time that I would be spending on classes and stuff opened up and available. So it's going to kind of depend on how work goes. If in four weeks work still won't let any overlaps happen, it's going to be a pain in the ass because noon to eight is just such a bad shift for me because I can't really do that much. Like I don't have time to sit here and, and, and really do a whole lot. Now that's good for YouTube, but that means more than likely I'm not going to be able to stream on Twitch on days that I work noon to eight. It is just so difficult because, because of my insomnia, waking up at like seven, eight o'clock in the morning on a consistent basis is hard enough as it is, but then having to, sh to, to sit here and try and stream for several hours is, is a pain in the butt. I tried to stream today. Uh, I, I did stream today for a while, but I wasn't entertaining at all. I I woke up at like 7.30. I tried my best, and it, it, it frankly wasn't entertaining. Um, you know, I, I want to try to to better myself and to, to do as much as I can to um, to stream on a regular basis and put out consistent YouTube content, but it's just very difficult. So uh, I hope you guys do understand. Thank you guys so much for, for coming out here uh, just for this. I'm just going to upload this as is. I'm not even going to add an intro or anything. I just feel like this is what needs to be said and what I want to talk about. So this is completely transparent with you guys. Um, I just, over the next four weeks, it's just going to be extremely difficult to upload every single day. Uh, there is a very good chance I'm going to do everything that I can to do that, 
but uh, with the way school is always going to be a priority, that's just how it's going to be, and I don't feel too bad about not uploading Robotics Notes episodes every day since people don't really want to watch it as much as other stuff, but um, also, when my Pokemon Sword Randomizer Nuzlocke ends, I'm going to need a new Pokemon series, because I do think Pokemon's one of the most consistently watched vi uh, video series that I have uh, throughout the history of the channel. I just want you guys to let me know what you guys want to see Pokemon-wise out of a out of a series. Do you guys want to randomize your Nuzlocke? Do you guys want some sort of challenge mode? If you do, give me ideas. Um, do you guys want me to do a, a super crazy extreme randomizer like no one's business? Let me know what you guys want to see. You guys want me to... to it, it would take a while. There would have to be a little bit of a break, especially over the next four weeks while I try and figure things out. Um, but if you guys want to see me do um, an edited text version of a game, kind of like the Ultra Sun Randomizer Nuzlocke where I edited some of the text of the game and added some sound effects and stuff to make it interesting. If you guys want to see, you know, uh, an X and Y or uh, Oras or um, any of the previous games, uh, Randomizer with, with edited text that where I changed the game's uh, entire storyline, let me know what you guys think on that. I would have to take a while to, to do it, but I think it would be a lot of fun. Um, but a lot of the high intensive stuff is going to have to wait four weeks until I can I can really start even working on that because uh, of how school goes. I want to do some audiobook stuff. Uh, I have my uh, Blood Red series beginning novel that I wrote um, that I want to do an audiobook format of. Uh, so that's going to take a while to kind of put together and edit and, and whatnot. I really, really want to do that, though. Um, some high, higher intensive stuff like Crusader Kings and, and Civilization VI. Those episodes, uh, like to record them, take forever. Like a game of Civilization VI takes several hours to put together. Uh, I could do some AI-only stuff like I did with EO4 um, that I want to try and put together, but... For the most part, it's going to be, uh, if I want to do like an actual series on it, those videos are going to take a while to put together. I mean, especially, even if I just cut things out and I don't add any edits, which is probably what's going to happen, going over an 8, 9, 10 hour clip of me playing a Civilization game or part of a Crusader Kings or EU4 game is just aggravating you know it's very intensive it's it takes a lot of time to go through those parts so i hope you'll bear with me a little bit on that but i i want to try and and over the next four weeks kind of focus on school make sure that gets done and unfortunately twitch and youtube are probably gonna have to take back seats mostly twitch unfortunately uh i've been streaming on twitch almost every single day to this point um but, like, for instance, the next three days, I don't think I'm going to stream on Twitch any of the next three days. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Uh, I work noon to eight. That's an awful time to work in order to do Twitch stuff. It's just horrible. It's not my work's fault because they can't overlap shifts. But it really, 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 really sucks for me. Um, you know, I, I'd much rather work a shift that allows me to have that time. But... But I should be able to record a video or two uh, to try and get those out. Um, so for the next four weeks, I think YouTube's going to be a lot more consistent than Twitch is. I'm going to still stream on Twitch. But my other problem, too, is that this damn Reggie Drago has not been shiny for over 3,000 encounters. I'm, I'm getting very close to triple odds for the thing. And uh, that's painful. It's extremely painful, and I'm at the point where I'm not really enjoying it that much, but I have too much pride to just, like, stop hunting it for a while. Um, you know, I've already committed to the hunt for over 3,000 encounters, so I want to finish it, you know what I mean? Um, so very, very likely until Thursday, I probably won't stream at all on Twitch. I'll probably focus more on getting YouTube stuff 
out, including today. Um, but hopefully you guys do understand. And I would really, really appreciate anybody who's watching this video to go back and watch some other content that I've done that you might not have seen yet. I, I just, it would mean a lot to me. Um, you know, views are one thing, but watch time to me is what I, what I'm really aiming for. I really want people to sit there and enjoy enjoy the content you know I feel like that that's kind of one of the things that I really want to focus on for instance like it's really cool that I got seven views on uh, uh on my ma major fights and powerful new teammates sword randomizer but the average time is like four minutes so people barely even watch most of the video and I mean I appreciate any view by the way any even if it's for like five seconds. But my goal, I'm just talking about my goal, is to have people enjoy the content throughout the entire thing and want to stay. Um, so I'm hope, hopefully I can do better on that. Um, obviously, I have to be the one that's entertaining. If I'm not entertaining, then you're just, you're just going to skip part of it. And I understand that. This video obviously isn't that entertaining. I'm sure a lot of people are going to skip through it. You know, um... But I appreciate all of you who have watched my content, who have subscribed. And if you guys know anybody who, who enjoys Pokemon content or visual novel content or people who are like debating getting certain games, likes football, something, uh, refer them to the channel. Let them, let them see for themselves. Maybe they'll hate me. That's totally fine. I get it. I'm not the most likable person in the world. Um, but... Any new person would really be would really count, and uh, I really do appreciate all of you for staying as long as you have. You know, we we're over 200 subscribers, which is super cool. Uh, I really am appreciative. Um, I'm just hoping that we can create content that uh, a big portion of those 200 subscribers want to consistently enjoy and intake. So. Uh, hopefully you guys all have an uh, amazing rest of your day. I really do appreciate you guys coming out here, and we'll see you all next time.